I will buy only those companies that are in business that even fools can understand. Have very little debt, have free cash flow, or do not have much capital expenditure, which is nothing but a deferred cost," said Chandrakant Sampath. Seventy-five percent of the people who earn just dollar a day. So, what are we doing? You know, a veteran stock market investor who was once regarded by many as the Indian Warren Buffett. Now, most of us don't know Chandrakant Sampath. Well, this is because of his humble lifestyle. Despite being one of the most successful investors in the country, the man lived frugally. Mr. Sampath started investing in Indian markets at the age of 26 after quitting his family business in 1955. Now, after the establishment of the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act, that's FERA, in the 1970s, he made his fortune by holding on to these multinational multi-baggers like Hindustan Unilever, Procter and Gamble, Gillette, Nestle, and even Colgate. He followed a fundamental approach while analyzing these companies, meaning that he analyzed the company's fundamentals such as profitability, revenue, asset, liabilities, and of course its growth potential. This process of analyzing financial statements of a company, along with the industry outlook and even the economic analysis, is known as fundamental analysis. And in this module, we we'll learn to perform fundamental analysis of a company in order to invest in it rationally. Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa, and I head the education services at Zeroda Broking Limited. In the previous module, Pratik taught us technical analysis, and in this module, we will learn fundamental analysis of companies. In this very first video, let me start with helping you understand what fundamental analysis is. Remember, in the previous module, that is the technical analysis module, Pratik discussed the tourist in the foreign country example. The tourist had to pick a food stall to have his dinner. There were essentially two ways to do that. The tourist could stand in a corner, see which stall attracted the maximum crowd, or research on each stall figure out what's being cooked ingredients being used and then arrive at what may seem like an interesting idea for dinner as you may already know the first technique is technical analysis and the second technique is the fundamental analysis in fundamental analysis you deep dive into a company's annual report to understand how the company is doing from a qualitative and quantitative perspective In qualitative analysis of a company you look for factors such as the corporate governance the moat of the business the competitive landscape the regulatory environment it operates in and of course the promoter's background in the quantitative analysis you take a deep dive into the company's financials such as the profit and loss the balance sheet and the cash flow statements and check how stable the financials are Finally you combine both the qualitative and quantitative aspect of a company and arrive at a decision to buy or sell the company's stock In the next video we will start by setting some realistic expectations from fundamental analysis before we move forward Key takeaways from this video are